Hello, everybody. We're here with season four of my Classroom Connection videos. This is episode two. I've got some more seventh graders this week to talk through how things are going in 2020 with online learning. Uh, will we ever be back in person or like with a hybrid model? And then other health activities that have been meaningful in recent weeks. Okay, so everybody say hello. Hi. Um, Hi. Hello. I need to ask, uh, first things first, I guess the question of this year will kind of be, how are you coping with our pandemic? How are things going just in general? Have you had anything that's been um, positive in the meantime? You know, how's online learning? Just any thoughts about being a teenager in like a seventh grader in our circumstances in 2020. So who would like to start? Any thoughts on everything that's going on just in general? What have you been doing to cope? Ayush, go ahead. Um, for me, it's good. a positive thing about COVID and just going online is that you know, I'm like to travel a lot more. And instead of being at school all day, we can stay at home and talk to each other a lot more. And the so bad thing for me is that I don't get to socialize with my friends. I don't know. Are you, I don't know if everybody else is here and I used like I'm here and I used it's a little, um, it's a little choppy. Is that just me? No, I hear that too. Same thing. So one of our main issues is that we're, we're dealing with technology. So that's one of the downfalls, right? So the bad news is we're kind of like solo in a room a lot. We're relying on technology. Our internet's been on in and out. Um, just kind of like this, like it's going right now. So I, do you mind repeating just what was, you said there, there was something that was positive. You get to be in your room. Is that what you were saying? Uh, I was just saying uh, me and my family could travel a lot more outside and I, I get to socialize with them a lot more. I see, like with family is what you're saying. Yeah, because you're in the house or you're in the home. Yeah. Did you say you traveled too? Yeah. Just like close by? It's like within 30, 40 miles -ish. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so time with, so I use, I, I'm hearing time with family has been a benefit. Um, anybody else, so how are you coping? What's the good and the bad? What's going on? Maybe you talk about school, whatever you like. Go ahead, Ashani. So, um, like a bad thing, obviously, is that we have to like be online. And it's, the pandemic just kind of ruined everything. Even when we are going back to school or the kids that ch like chose back to, it's not going to be the same because it's not a social activity anymore. It's just to have the chance to be able to like learn in person. Mm -hmm. You think we're going to miss a, some of that social aspect of school? Ishul, Ketav, go ahead and chime in. I think it um, on a Zoom meeting, it's more like formal, and then when you're in the classroom, um, the teachers don't really like mind if you like talk to them or something. So just um, speaking up, even I'm noticing it takes a long time to like ask somebody to unmute, or to like you were just you know finding the button to click unmute, and then there's always a delay. Um, do you like the informal part of being in person? Ketav, you're, do you mind um, giving us just a little background? You're, just, you're brand new to our school this year, which was very brave of you to volunteer for our YouTube video. But has, I mean, besides that being maybe a difficult or, or maybe not difficult, but difference in life, just no matter what year, how about this time where we're not even in person? Um, I was actually kind of looking forward to a new school, not because I, I really like my old school, but it's just that um, I wanted to like make more friends and um, socialize, but I can't socialize that much because I'm not in person. And uh, my sixth grade year was in um, Hill Middle School, but I was um, happy that I was still in the same district. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm a lot more timid when talking to teachers or people like through Zoom. And it really has made me think that we should be like thankful for what we have. And that's what really the lockdown, it, the lockdown has made me reflect a lot. And uh, it's good that uh, we can stay in our home and keep at our own pace from class to class. Yeah, so you're finding some good and some difficulty 
um, moving schools in this time. Thanks for sharing with that. Does anybody involved typically in extracurricular activities? Are you usually involved in things outside of schoolwork? And what are they? What is it? Yeah, just go ahead and unmute and, and go for it. All right, so like I was like saying earlier, I like to paint a lot. So I actually like started a business where I like sell my paintings. So that's something that I work on out of school too, so. So you're able to do that even, even though we're through the screen to start this school year? That's yeah. cool, Ashani. Anybody else involved in music or sports generally? I used to um, uh, play tennis and uh, I was thinking of like, we're, we're thinking of starting tennis again because of like some of the courts that have been opened and stuff like that. Yeah. But we're taking our precautions as well. And also I played the piano, but I had to take a long break from that. And I would probably be rusty if I started playing it again, and like going to recitals and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else that you two are, Ishul or Ayush, are you, do you usually do things outside of schoolwork? Yeah, something that's annoying is that I wanted to sign up for a sport this summer, but then nothing was open. And I had an acting audition the other day, but it was on a Zoom call and it's just not the same. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Ayush, anything that you usually do besides classwork? Um, same as usual. I tried sending out football and many things, but since there was COVID, they were always limited the spots. And I tried opening a business, and again, since COVID was there, I couldn't do anything other than just get home. Yeah, it's been, it stops what we, it, it's absolutely interrupted our typical day to day. Um, and that includes besides schoolwork, that includes the other fun parts that typically come along with like public school education, you know, um, socializing is huge. We talk about that in health class for sure. There's other things besides that are important besides just classwork. And as a teacher, sometimes that's funny to say because I'm here, I'm involved in school. But uh, we do want that social development and it's been interrupted. It's not to say that it's going to be permanently affected or we can't ever be like active and get back into piano or, or tennis or acting or start up any other hobbies like you were talking about getting businesses going at a young age, you know. We can do that, but it seems like everything's kind of just, we have to figure out a different way of doing and that's been true on like delivering messages for teaching. It's probably been true on how you try and focus and pay attention. Do you remember in health class when we did a little mindfulness work on attention span? We tried to check out a video and see if we could focus for a good like 14 minutes. Have you noticed any of you, can you talk about how your attention is, is um, different through the screen with online learning? Are you finding yourself distracted or have you been coping fine? So go ahead, Ayush. Um, for me, I've been a lot more distracted as um, I'm more at home. So I always find something that I like to do and pick up more. And like attention span wise, mm -hmm. I can't really do much through online video because um, there isn't just much to do without being in the classroom and not having any distractions other than the teacher. Sure, that makes sense. Anybody else? What are you finding? Is it good, bad? What's going on with your attention? Go ahead, Ashani. So <clears throat> one thing that I'm like struggling a lot is like paying attention or keeping focus on the Zoom call because a lot of times it can just get a little boring and like, especially when my phone's there, it's really hard not to just, you know, go on it. Well, you know, you think you don't need to like pay attention to something even though you still really should, but like kind of hard not yeah. to go on your phone. Right. Ishul, Ketav, what's going on with attention span at home? Yeah, so like I have a sibling, so then I'll be like distracted from what they're doing. And then I just have like all these distractions in the background. Right. Um, I, I, uh, I also get really distracted. Uh, like even while watching the video, I like saw a bird sitting on the tree outside of my window and I peeked at that. But then when I came back to the video, I kind of like, lost my attention and I couldn't really understand what the lady was saying. And after watching for five more minutes, I started thinking about something else. Uh, so it's not consistent, but I have to learn to cope with it. 
Yeah, it's it's true for all of us. Ayush, what else? Um, well, I like online learning. So many of us might have learned other books near us that use the internet. So um, the bandwidth might get bad, and you just might add in the classroom. And so you might get distracted in that. You were choppy again. I, I know you're in, like, our connection isn't so good. But was it something about how focusing in the classroom is is easier or harder? I was saying it's harder because since we're online, sometimes there might lag. And so um, many people are using the Wi-Fi so the bandwidth might get choppy as well. So that we might all get just signed out. So you might miss everything and then you get distracted because like I missed half of it. What's the point of doing the other half? Yeah, like right now we're we're a little it's hard to follow because you're for me you're lagging in and out and so it's using your Wi-Fi bandwidth. Um and if you get kicked out of like a, a Zoom call, we use Zoom. Some other people use around the nation use Google Meets, I know. But yeah, if it bumps you out and then you're definitely missing that part of things. Um, so it's all just coping. I'm, I've been trying to get into the classroom because it's a quieter spot. Um, my house has a lot of kids and a lot of dogs and so a lot of background noise. And I know that that in itself would be distracting, not just for me, but for um, students. There's also the real part of things though, isn't it? It's kind of nice to see, or at least for me, I've noticed like when I'm doing online meetings, it's been neat to see that like we're all real people. And so it's kind of been neat to see like if a dog comes into this, it's been a nice break in the day or like my, my little kid, my toddler will show up and my classes are like, oh, there's your, I, I've noticed that students actually kind of don't mind some of that because it breaks it up from just staring at somebody's face. And then you can realize we're all just real people. We have homes, um, you know, no matter what. So I want to, let's move on. We're going to do like one or two more questions, if that's okay. Can I ask you if you are uh, excited or nervous about getting back in person? If we ever go to a hybrid or back in person, because it's going to happen hopefully by November. I shouldn't say hopefully, but potentially by November, we're going to change kind of our setup, you know? So what are your thoughts on that? Is that sound scary in some ways? Does it sound exciting? Um, you can start. Ishani, we'll start with you and then everybody else can just unmute and go. Okay, so, <clears throat> so like, there was a choice to do all, like, online or, like, right. half hybrid or, like, half online. I chose the all online, but the reason I did that is because I feel like if I were to be in person, there's so many kids, I'd be, like, really paranoid if I, like, touched somebody or touched something or came in contact with someone you know, that could have possibly been sick. And it's just like very paranoid and it's a lot to like think about or like, you know. Sure, we have, so I guess we should have started with this is, I should have said by 2021, um, potentially we're getting everybody in person, but for now we are giving families some choices. And Ashani, you said you have chosen to stay with remote learning instead of do um, a back and forth model of education, right? But will that change in the next past the new year? Um, do you think you'll still be kind of cognizant and aware of the virus going on as we potentially all return to school, Ishani? I think that there might be. I think that we all may be able to go back to school um, for the second semester. But mm -hmm. honestly, I'm not really super sure. But if, we not, if we're not able to do that, I definitely think that we should be able to all go in eighth grade next year, like safely, at okay. least. It's a, there's a ton of unknowns. We, we, we're all, nobody really has that, you know, it's not like as a teacher, I have any more information than you do. Um, okay, so Ishil and Ayush, I saw you put your hands up, but any thoughts into your hybrid model, which means some stuff at home, some things in person, any thoughts on that? Nervousness, excited? I think like half the kids wouldn't care about social distancing hmm. so then um that would be kind of hard hard and um if if like i catch the virus then i could bring it home and it's just gonna spread more and more right it's a that's a big worry for it for all of us right go ahead guys anything else um, i'm just happy if you are to go back to the even if it's hybrid, you might you still be able to talk to your friends. So you might feel happy about that part. But then again, COVID might 
catch one of us and we might spread it so then it would still be bad. Yeah, it's a tough scenario no matter what. Um, I, I'm kind of nervous uh, for going back to school because I, I would rather be in person, but there are a lot of um, uh, safety issues that mm -hmm. l let's say everyone or we would probably be required to wear a mask as much as possible, maybe uh, like right. during the class and stuff like that. But there's always a couple of people that um, really don't understand the true severity of the stuff that's going on right now. And it would be kind of awkward to like talk to people with the mask on at all times. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What, well, we're going to find out, you know, we're going to see. In fact, what we'll try and do is we'll, I think with these videos, we'll try and just reflect on what's going to what's happening just in the moment, just week to week. We have a school of uh, not quite 1200 students. So it's not possible for us all to be there and be in the classrooms and be in the hallways. And a lot of other schools are going through that in the world right now, too. So it's not a unique situation for us. Um, but I think each different community does have their their own individual and own unique circumstances where they make a decision. Same thing with the families too. Um, so I appreciate your thoughts on all that. We should end on uh, maybe like a, is there a positive note? Is there anything that's been really fun that either we've done in health class or another class has done that we could talk about that you're like, you know what, that was actually, I smiled, I laughed that day. It was good interaction. Was there a cool project that has happened? Uh, well, so we're going to end on that. Is there something positive and fun that you've done this school year already that you can talk about? doesn't matter what class. Um, it could even be in personal life if you'd rather. Can you think of anything that's happened, Ayush? Well, it's still going on. It's genius hour. Um, for me, the first is I get to actually socialize a lot with many people while creating a project that I enjoy doing. Yeah, in case people miss that, because again, Aisha is pretty choppy, this whole video, uh, this whole recording, we have something called Genius Hour, which is kind of like for other teachers out there, it's a little bit of PBL, some problem-based learning. You get to choose uh, a focus point. And then, so Aisha is saying, you get to work with some peers and just talk informally and then socialize. That's been fun. During Genius Hour, that's what you were talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what else? What other things have been like, like really fun? You you looked forward to. I saw a couple other. I know it's only like four of us, but a couple other hands. Ishani. I kind of looked forward to um, orchestra because I feel like <clears throat> I actually get to play something, and that's like probably the closest thing to normal that I've had on Zoom. Is that at least I've been able to play it even though through a screen, I can still, you know, experience it. True, true. What, what uh, instrument do you play? I play the cello. Nice. So it's been something close to normal for you. Cool. I hope it continues. Ishil, Ketav, anything that's been positive? I'm, uh, I always really look forward to Genius Hour as well, because um, we're trying to create an, uh, we're trying to create a website about uh, sports related stuff and like tips and things. So uh, we're having a lot of fun doing that and uh, I'm actually really looking forward to French because um, it's kind of interesting and like its characteristics is that it has a, it has bits and pieces of like many other languages so like you can notice a little bit of Spanish in it you can notice some English in it you can notice some like German in it mm -hmm. so it's kind of interesting and um, in health class, it, the video about the um, person who had the disease where she couldn't gain weight after eating something and it looked like she was older. Right. Uh, that was that act that made me pretty emotional because she kind of moved forward from all the bullying that was happening during her childhood and um, She's a really great person today. Yeah, very true. Thanks for sharing. Isha, go ahead. Um, I like that there's more freedom because like, like during my breaks, I can go, um, go on my phone or something or talk to family. And I also like that there's 
on a Zoom call, it's hard to like bully people, so there's less bullying, which means better mental health. And I forgot. Yeah, that's a good list. That's a good list. Well, I want to thank you for for working through the screen um, and then taking a couple minutes out of your day to talk through and let everybody know what it's like being a seventh grader during our pandemic, during online learning, where we're going from here. So I appreciate all the insight. Um, everybody out there, I'm going to try and get another group each week. If I can't do it every single week, then it'll be a couple of times a month if possible as we continue with uh, this is now four school years I've been doing this. And this is definitely a unique circumstance because usually I'm just right next to everybody in the classroom. But hey, maybe soon enough, maybe with masks on and maybe not. Maybe we'll end up doing some things through the screen even into 2021. But we will see. All right, you four, say goodbye. And then thanks again to everybody for watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.